Good morning. Welcome to day three. Yesterday was a, was a good day. I, um, I was basically just following the river uh, for quite a while um, until I hit a, uh, a pipe across the river and then I was on a, a track for um, oh, probably in total it was about eight and a half kilometers and then um, back down and along the river again. Um, found a little bit of track on that last bit of river but then uh, it disappeared and um, yeah currently I'm just in the bush I'm going along behind beside the river. Some rivers it's it's better to go in the river and others it's easier to go above it. Um, this river it's quite a well it's near the end of its source so it's getting quite small but it's quite rough there's lots of um, trees over it lots of deep bits without uh, much area to walk on which is why I'm going through the bush instead <laughs> which um, sometimes is nice and clear and sometimes <laughs> it's uh, not quite so clear today's going to be um, a, a difficult day um, trying to see where to go from here yeah today's going to be um, a, a challenging day so I've got another two and a half kilometers um, going up this river um, and then I start heading up a hill and today is all off track um, what we in New Zealand we call it bush bashing or you're going through our native bush um, with no tracks to follow so um, it's going to be very careful navigation um, yeah it's going to be compass bearings and uh, paces counting my uh, paces so that uh, I know how far I've come um, so yeah definitely going to be a big challenge today um, alright so onwards I go there are wild pigs in here they just um, dig up the ground and uh, you get patches where they really like and it's as if um, you've had a plough come through so yeah they cause a lot of damage Oh, so beautiful going through here. This is a nice open bit so I can actually film now. Um, oh this is a lovely bit. Get these nice open bits and you get those real dense difficult bits. My legs are not as stiff as yesterday which is good. I can still feel them a little bit but uh, heaps better. I've reached a stream that I'm going to turn off up and I am going to follow this stream up until it ends um, and that will take me three quarters of the way up to the ridge line and then from there it's just compass bearing heading straight up the hill so uh, navigation's not too hard so far it's one and a half or one and a quarter kilometers um, to get up onto the ridge line um, and I think that's probably going to take me two hours. Um, I'm not going to walk in the stream, I'm going to walk up above the stream. But yeah, it, it's going to be hard going. Change my mind, it's actually not too bad walking in the stream. So um, yeah, that's what I've decided. I have to keep an eye out, make sure that before it runs out of water as it gets higher, that I have to do a full water reset up because I'm going to be up on the ridge lines for quite a while. Very tight spots like this. Uh, I'm going to have to take my pack off to get through there. Even going around that whole thing continues on. It's very hard to get under, and I've got a cliff on that side, so through there I go. That's where I've just come down and I have now reached the stream junction I've been looking for. Um, so I'm going to take the left one and I've got another 600 meters up the stream.
I'm starting to get quite overgrown so I scrambled up this hill and I'll walk on the uh, hill just uh, above the stream for a while. I'm going to get a bit steep now. <laughs> it's starting to disappear so I've filled up with a full load and the good thing is it means I'm now going to leave the stream um, and I'm going to make my way up. Uh, should be slightly easier travel but it's all getting pretty steep at the moment. Um, so I'm about uh, 400 meters from the ridge line, so that's probably going to be at least half an hour in this terrain. This is hard work. <laughs> it's a steep, steep hill. Um, vegetation's not as bad as I was fearing it was going to be, um, but it's these climbs over these old Russian stumps and logs, which uh, make it tiring, especially now. I've got a, a full load of water which adds to the weight on my back. Whew. <laughs> I'm just following a compass bearing um, just to get to the top. But I know I just keep going up, so it doesn't matter if I go too far off. Woohoo! I've hit the spur line. Now I just need to follow this up a couple of hundred meters. Um, and that should get me to the ridge line. And now that I'm on the spur line, uh, the travel is a little bit easier. Oh. Alright, I'm on the ridge line. Um, so now I'm on ridge lines for another day and a half. Unfortunately, it looks quite um, tight vegetation on the ridge line, which is uh, going to make it a, a little challenging. But anyway, hopefully it's only this part and it eases off a bit. I've got views! It did take me uh, just over two hours to do that uh, one and a quarter kilometres up to the ridge line. Um, I've just hit the high point now, so um, now I've got 800 metres. Um, until I get to quite a tricky where there's quite a big spur line going off the ridge line and the ridge line turns so I need to be very careful that I don't go down the spur line. Um, Alright, I've got to stop talking, I'm counting my paces at the moment. I don't know what that is, it looks like a, a spider but it's got a big thing going up out the back, that is weird. It's come through this really difficult terrain. It was um, these little trees and they're really close together and found the perfect log for lunch. So a bit of a lunch before continuing on. Actually got a viewpoint again so I can do a panorama. Here we go. So that's the Wairarapa, that's Lake Wairarapa in there. Coming along. Um, I'm continuing going up this uh, ridge line up to there and then dropping off behind it and going to a, another ridge line that's not the one I'll be taking. Looks pretty rough to get across it to it. <laughs> and then yeah, it's looking into, um, I think that's Whiteman's Valley over there. And in where I've just come. trees are ridiculously close together. I think I'm on a slightly clearish thing here but still struggling to get through. Poor Pack's taking a battering. I'm close to the top. It's just trying to get through this stuff. It's very, uh, you can't really walk on it very much. Ooh. Oh, trying to go under it. <laughs> it's just up there. I've been having to stop for a lot of breaks. This is hard work. However, I've just come onto um, this ridge line. Looks like there's a uh, slight um, track to follow. So uh, it's still not a full on track, but um, it does seem to be making it a little bit um, easier uh, than it was. <laughs> um, probably only going to walk for another um, 40 minutes. Um, it's uh, 
3.25 at the moment. Um, I started at 9.15 um, and I don't want to walk many more than seven hours. So I'll start looking for a campsite at 6.30. Uh, sorry, 16.30, so 4.30 p.m. Of course that track only makes some very brief appearances <laughs> and the rest of the time it's this close stuff. Not only is it close, it's underneath there's a whole lot of dead trees. <laughs> oh, nearly stuck. Um, dead trees which um, some of them just give way as you stand on them. Oh, like that. Ouch. Ow. Um, yeah, so I'm um, very slow going. My time estimate, I said 1k an hour uh, for this sort of train. I don't think I'm even doing that. Woohoo! It's pretty cool though, knowing I'm the only one around. <sighs> but geez, it's hard work. <laughs> like these, they're just big mon. Uh, they're old tree stumps with the uh, ferns on top. So, yeah, big green mounds. Pretty cool. <laughs> this beautiful mossy area is my next waypoint. Um, and it is spot height 791. So now I'm dropping off down onto another ridge line. Um, and another 20 minutes and I'll start looking for a campsite. Just have to be careful walking on this uh, beautiful ferns um, because there are rotten trees underneath them um, and also need to worry about uh, overhead as well. So it looks beautiful but it's still not easy walking. Love these twisty gnarly trees. I always call it goblin forest when I see this. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if actually having a look that way with the sun in a different direction. They're just so cool. <laughs> That's cute. Bright orange. Saw my first deer. <laughs> Too slow to get the camera out for it. I'm also making a lot of noise. It can hear me from miles off. I've been searching for a campsite for uh, 25 minutes now and nothing. <laughs> uh, starting to get a little bit tired but uh, a little bit of uphill and then it should be um, flat on the top. So hopefully I'll find a campsite up there. <laughs> The storm damage, all the trees are blown over. <laughs> it's looking out into uh, Lower Hut. Woohoo! Finally, a place for my tent. Woo, I'm shattered. Quarter past five. 